Hello everyone and welcome to day 258 of 365. I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on what's going on with Roger. I know some people are worried about him, concerned. I'll give you some info without just spilling everything. You know what I mean? Just some of it's really personal and I don't want to share it. But the stuff that I can, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, tomorrow, Roger is going to be getting discharged from the hospital. From then, I don't really know where he's going to go because he has no housing. So I'm going to try to take my brother, my other buddy, and him to go job hunting for him just to get a job, get a steady income. Um, that's our plan right now. And then I may have him spend the night maybe a day or two, depending on what my parents say. And then f after that, uh, take him to a shelter and get some good you know, shelter and housing and food. But that's our plan right now. If you guys are wondering exactly how he is as far as the hospital and why he's there and his hand and everything. He ended up getting eight stitches in each hand and so I seen him. They're, they're pretty bad. He was cut pretty bad on his fingers. But he said he's okay uh, besides the point of not having a house right now but me and my brother and Kimberly went up there and tried to help him out and talk to him and ask some you know options that we can do with him so that maybe we can help him out. That's what's going on right now. It's really, really, really crazy. So please, please keep him in your prayers and your thoughts. We'd really appreciate it. When we have friends in our lives who just we really care about and we love just like a brother, because Roger really is like my other brother, it's really tough to see him go through these things. But I'm going to do the best that we can do to support him and love him. But Roger's had a hard life, and he's been dealt with some stuff. This is even getting me rougher, but he can get through it. He's a strong guy. I've known him since, uh, seems like forever. And I know he can get through things. He can do it if he really, really tried. And so we're going to help him along the way as much as we can. Um, and of course, we have to, you know, keep our stresses <laughs> first. And that might sound really rude, but I'm sure you'll understand that um, there's stresses in our life that we just have to take care of. But we love... We really do love helping the people in such a way to get them up on their feet. I'm not going to say to Roger, here's a roof, take it. You know, I'm going to say, here's ways to get a roof over your head. Here's ways to do that. And he can take it as it is, whether good or bad. And I hope he takes it. I pray he takes it. And that's what's going on with Roger. So you guys are now updated hope that you kind of get an understanding of what's going on. Thanks for all the concerns for Roger. I told Roger that everybody's, you know, concerned about you and he really appreciates it. So, a special thank you from him. From Question. Is there anything really serious in your life that was just a huge stress that when that happened you are just like, oh, how am I going to do this? Kind of give a kind of short story of a comment if you want to. I don't want you guys to get like real personal if you don't want to and I understand. Or just message me and talk to me about it. I'm cool with that. I'm RTD, I did get your message. I shall respond to it tomorrow. The reason being is because I'm really tired and we need to get some sleep. I'm sorry that like our videos haven't really been uppity uppity like, Oh yeah, funny Corey, he's all funny. And it's been like really serious. It's like, oh my gosh, God, he's serious. I just need to stop it. He really needs to stop it. Seriously. Seriously, don't stop it. Enough of this serious stuff. I didn't subscribe for serious stuff. I want to see you do funny stuff. Yes, a lot, bro. So, um, I look, I look like a frog. I look like, I look like a ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> I shall see you tomorrow. I don't know where I fit in, but I'm just who I am, and that's right.